back. It's day two of our Warrior Week series where we're honoring our nation's incredible heroes who put it all on the line in service to our nation. Tonight, we're focusing on the five former Navy SEALs who are hoping to swap out their uniform for a tie. Well, at least they'll have a brand new mission in the House of Representatives anyway. Three of those former Navy SEALs join us now. Ryan Zinke, former Interior Secretary under President Trump and now Montana congressional candidate, along with Eli Crane, an entrepreneur whose business was actually featured on Shark Tank. He's running in Arizona. And Derek Van Orden, who is running for Congress in Wisconsin's 3rd District. Gentlemen, thanks, you all, for being here. Great to be with you, Sean. It certainly is. Secretary Zinke, nice you, you. you've, uh, I want to start with you. You've served our country in many different ways. Uh, in fact, prior to serving the Trump administration, you actually did represent Montana uh, in an out-large seat in the House of Representatives. And then uh, you went and served, and obviously Montana gained another seat. You want to head back. So first, uh, you know, you've been quoted as saying that Washington is fixable. Tell me how you think you can fix Washington this time around. Well, as dreary as it seems, right, you look at I mean, our mission is pretty simple. We're going to take back America because you look at what happened in Afghanistan. We abandoned our citizens. We abandoned our allies and we abandoned our principles. In the last seven months, we begged OPEC for oil. We have no border. And people ask about about Afghanistan. You know, people, people from Afghanistan come in and just bring them to Mexicali. They can walk across the border and be processed within hours. And we don't know where they're at. We have hyperinflation. So, look, we all I love our country. And this is where I think SEALs, Special Forces, you know, we're, we're red, white, and blue. We don't look through the lens of either red or, or blue. We're red, white, and blue. And the values that have made this country great are worth fighting for. We've taken an oath uh, for the Constitution to defend it against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And we are ready uh, once again to serve our great nation. Derek, I want to pick up on that. When it comes to foreign policy and homeland securities, it's interesting. I mean, you guys who have served in this position really seem to have a, a, an expertise that a lot of people in Washington, frankly, don't have, especially many in Congress. How do you think that your experience will help you in uh, overcome the government bureaucracy and the political red tape? Well, Sean, I just got back from the UAE yesterday. I spent uh, a little over a week there trying to help vet and process people that have escaped Afghanistan. And the reason that me as a private citizen had to do that is due to the sheer incompetency of the Biden administration. And I'll be frank with you, I've never been more embarrassed for the government of the United States of America, and yet still I've never been more proud of our individual American citizens. There are people serving in our government now from the ambassadorial level, the political appointees, including the entire National Security Council that need to be removed from office immediately. Uh, they've acted in a shameful manner, and we, they've, they've disgraced the United States on the world stage. However, again, I want to stress, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of American citizens who are individually picked up the mantle of freedom and have carried that forward. And I'm except, exceptionally proud of them. I'm running for Congress to stop this. Uh, the, my fellow Navy SEALs that are running, we don't see a color, as uh, Secretary Zinke said. We see red, white, and blue. And we work to, uh, we are working collectively to change what's taking place in Washington, D.C. And with everybody's help, we're going to do it. I'll tell you, Derek, I, you know, Ron Kind had represented that district in, in Wisconsin for a long time. You gave him a run for his money last time, and he's already announced he's not running again, which I think is a huge boost to you. Eli, I do want to say you've got a very unique thing going because not only are you a former Navy SEAL, which in itself is quite an accomplishment, but you've been a very successful entrepreneur. I think both of those things are Washington needs more of. So how do you think that you're going to apply the business experience and the, and the military experience to further Washington goals. Well, I appreciate you having us on the show, Sean. And I think uh, that's what Americans want. They want some uh, folks and some leaders in there with some real world experience. And I think that's one of the things that I bring to the table. This is honestly not something that I ever wanted to do, but I, I'm so fed up with you know what's going on in Washington and even our culture that I just couldn't sit on the sidelines anymore and just complain about it. So I wanted to do something about it I wanted to take action, and uh, this is a really great place to do that. I think uh, I can really affect some change. My race is one of the top 10 targeted races by the NRCC. It's one that we have to flip. We've got to flip a three-term Democrat named Tom O'Halloran. And I think uh, um, 
Americans and Arizonans in particular are really frustrated. We're frustrated with our elections. We're frustrated with what's going on at the border. We're frustrated with the economy, and we're definitely worried about what's going to take place with national security because we don't have a southern border. And uh, now that we're no longer taking the fight to our enemies overseas, many of us that have done security for a very long time, and that's been our profession, know what that means. And usually that means it comes to our shores here. And so we're very concerned about it. And if we don't get some fighters into Washington ASAP, I think this is only going to get worse. Uh, Secretary Zinke, there is a report out today that four of the five people that have taken leadership roles in this new Taliban government were people that were in Gitmo that were traded under President Obama for former Army Staff Sergeant uh, Bo Bergdahl. What does that tell you about where we are right now after all of your service? Well, what does it tell you about this administration's failure? I mean, to abandon our citizens? And this has consequences beyond just their withdrawal. You know, special forces are in dozens of countries, and and we rely on trust. We rely on our foreign counterparts, but we rely on trust. The U.S. government gave the Taliban a list of people to go out that worked with us to go out and hunt and find and kill. So if, if you're in Africa, you're in some of the smaller countries that we work day to day in, in these anti-terrorism activities, no one's going to trust us. So this has deep-reaching consequences for our credibility. And look, we're asking Americans to give us the ammunition to win this fight. There is six SEALs plus Dan Crenshaw. We have special operations guys, uh, Brian Mast, Waltz out of, out of Florida, some really great Americans. Now, follow us at sealpack.org, ryanzinke.com, and give us the ammunition to take back America. We need your help. Look, a lot of us, you know, work hard. We uh, we don't come from a, a lot a lot of money, but we love our country. And if we didn't think it was fixable, we wouldn't be running and and waging this battle. Our mission's pretty clear. We're going to take back the majority of the U U.S. House of Representatives. We're going to take back the White House, and we are going to take back this country. Well. Wow. I think, uh, unfortunately, we're out of time. Derek and Eli, I owe you, I owe you uh, an opportunity to come back. Secretary Zinke, he, he made a strong pitch for, your, for all of you, so I'll, I'll let, we'll have to end on that. But I, I'm going to definitely have you back. I wish you all the best. Thank you for your service to our country and your continued desire to serve. I really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for being with us tonight. You're thanks, absolutely you, welcome. Sean. America's worth it, Sean. You bet. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.